Hello, welcome to my channel. My channel is all about soap making and home crafts. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram at The Scrafworks for more sneak peeks and ongoing projects. I have made this lavender infused olive oil just one year ago, and I think this would be the perfect ingredient to make a cast out soap. To start the project, I poured the infused oil down a strainer to strain out the lavender buds. It would actually be best to put it through a cheesecloth, but then I didn't have any on hand, so I poured the oil through the strainer twice to make it as clean as possible. In this video, I'm going to try to make this cast out soap using a dual lye solution, which is a mixture of potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. I've came across some blogs and soap making forums for the dual lye bar soaps, and that using a dual lye solution, especially for cast out soaps, can reduce the slimy and sticky leather, even with just a 4 to 6 weeks cure time. The reasoning for that is mainly because potassium hydroxide can increase the solubility of the soap. I have previously made dual lye shaving soaps as well and found them working wonderfully. So I am definitely very curious of how this will turn out. Here I am preparing the dual lye solution. Firstly incorporating all the measured sodium hydroxide in the distilled water and then adding my potassium hydroxide once the solution is clear. You can also do it the other way around. I don't know if any of you have also made pure castile soap which is made up of 100% olive oil. Surprise, the soap was actually quite hard already. And then I planed the soap to clean it up. These are the finished bars. Then I decided that these bars need some beveling as well. Here is the leather test of the castile soap that I have made one year ago. You can clearly see that the leather is no longer very sticky and slimy. The leather of this soap is not thick and it creates small bubbles. But then this is a classic bar that is definitely very gentle for the skin. It left my skin feeling soft and moisturized. And now, this is the leather test of the dual lye castile soap at 4 weeks. You can clearly see that the leather is not sticky or slimy at all. And I think that this bar creates slightly more bubbles compared to the previous bar. Leave me a comment below and share with me your experiences of making castile soaps. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.